Hello, mortals. Greetings, my loyal servants. And today we do a what if for you, for your entertainment. Today we do what if Deku was Roadhog, betrayed by family and sentenced to death, but blessed. Anyway, how's it going, everybody? Like I said, that's the... I kind of like that intro. Anyway, okay, I'm actually going to do... For once, I have never thought I would do. I'm actually going to go into the backstory for once instead of just shorting it out. Because a fan has actually asked me politely. And I'm just going to say this. If I hear one more thing about cringe, I notice one of you fans have put a cringe thing. Let me tell you something about cringe. Judging people for what they are, what they do, is cringe. I can name two things that are worse than cringing. But I, don't, I only need to say once. I can't breathe. Yeah, I'm going that far. Now that was cringe and fucked up. And you all may think I don't care about lies, but... I care more about the black lives than I care more about the white lives. Because number one, the white lives need to learn how to suffer, like everything else. Now you're probably saying, you're white? Yeah, but I'm a psychopath white. There's a big difference. And you could easily tell the difference between a psychopath white and a normal white. A psychopath white wouldn't care about their own kind. And you should know that because I make these what is so brutal, it'll make even the devil blush. And, oh, I wonder if he even react to these, because if he does, he must be bored as hell. Oh. Now. Oh. Ow, shoot. A nick. nick. Now. Oh, we get... Now, we start off with Izuku Midoriya. Yeah. Now, I am going to go into detail about Inko. Inko is a hero in this one, and they are born in Australia. I'm actually going to try to do the Warthog... What? What was his name? Roadhog? Warthog? Give me a minute. I need to look up the Overwatch. I literally had to, like, do some, uh, <laughs> stuff. And what I mean by stuff, I mean I had to look up the, uh, character. And their, and then their, uh, origin. Okay. Yeah, Roadhog. Okay. Hey. Now, here's the, for those who do not know what Warthog is, I'm gonna tell you guys. Uh, here we go. Roadhog is a tank in Overwatch. Roadhog uses a signature chain hook, pulls his enemies close before shredding him with a blast from his scrap gum. He's hardy enough to withstand temporal termindison damage and can recover his health. I bet, uh, uh, what was her name? Mercy? I bet Mercy's great about that. Um, with a short breather. Roadhog is a unique tank play style that focuses on slinging out on vulnerable enemies and yanking them in for the slaughter with his chain hook. His scrap gun gives him powerful short medium range. Oh wait, do minimum range damage while taking a breather allowing him to restore health. Real name, Mark, Marku Rolting? I can't read that. Age, he's 48? Damn. Not naturally, Australia. Alternate Australian Liberation Force. Formerly. Junker. Okay. Yeah, I had to literally, like, look over this shit. It was not a cakewalk. I'm going to say that right now. Oh, like, seriously, it was no cakewalk. I had to look up, look it up fast. So now we get to this background. Now we get to Izuku. Izuku Midoriya is pretty much we start with his childhood first before we start anything. And so we start him off at the age of six, I'm gonna say, before he became a big guy. So the reason we start him off at six, because we're gonna start him off when Izuku Midoriya had to go through the pretty much the Great War. So now we watch him going through the war and pretty much. Uh, seen how much hell he has gone through by being demolished by the robots during the war. Or, now with Izuku, who, who is now hiding in the back, who is now hiding. 
Now, Inko doesn't even know Izuku Zik exists. I'm going to say that because she never won a kid. So his father, Hasashi, is the one who takes care of him. Now, when, Hasa when Izu Hasashi was pretty much telling Izuku to run, which he did, it, he ran as fast as he could. Now, with Izuku, who is now who seeing his father being killed by the robots while trying his best to make sure that his uh, father, that his son, gets out of there, all he does is smile to Izuku and says, "Make sure humanity survives." After the extremely brutal and desecrating war of humanity against, well, you know, oh, pretty much humanity was demolished. And the Australians lost many, many homes thanks to the war. So Izuku, over the past years, has been seeing the Australians losing their home one at a time due to the Omics. So pretty much we now start off with Izuku, who is now, I'm going to say, since Izuku is technically 40 in this one, I'm going to say he's different. So I'm going to say he's around... Twenty... Twenty... I'm going to say he's probably... That's a good name. I'm only going to start him at 40 like I did last time in the Bane What If. So I'm going to say he's like... Uh, no, with his weight... I'm going to say... 18? Yeah, he's 18 years old. Now, Overwatch does exist in this world, and so does many others. But over the past years, Izuku Midoriya has even started pretty much rebelling against the thing. Against the all makes pretty much leave, living in their homes, where more Australians become more and more homeless. Now, this one Izuku is talking with some of his men, and pretty much he is just walking there. Until he hears, Oi! Watch where you're going, you wanker! Uh, uh, hey! You stepped on me, can! This one, one of the goons just say, Hey, hey I know that kid. That's Ida. Yeah, I know him. Yeah, his mother goes, comes to my store or all the time. Hey, shouldn't you be with your parents? That's none of your business. This is when Izuku, aka Roadhog, picks him up. You should keep that mouth shut of yours. It's only gonna lead you to trouble. And trouble follows those who have a mouth of, of coal. Take my advice, kid. Don't. I'm getting into trouble. Pray, take, che cherish the things you have and the things you love. You may never see them again. And this one, Izuku just walks off. I don't need advice from you. Now, this is when Izuku and his men pretty much got walks in. All right, we have a bite. we have a plan. The fusion core. It's the only way to stop the Ogniks from taking over our country. It will send the world a warning, sending the entire world at what we do now I know you all are thinking this is what will this cost us but what has the Omnix take we have nothing to lose we lost everything thanks to the Omnix so now it is time for us to take back our country and this is when the men just cheer, along with women and all that. Now, they start raiding. This is when everyone just starts raiding the facility, pretty much bringing in their guns and their weaponry. Now, pretty much, we destroy, they destroy everything. Until the nuclear war. Until the nuke blows up. Which causes a giant radiation of a lot of things. Izuku, who managed to get out of the rubble, because it was a great collapse. 
to see the rubble along with dead Omnics and pretty much dead humans. This is when Izuku finds out that he's no better than the Omnics. Now, pretty much this is when he just disappears. Here's over the past years. Now, a couple of years have passed. Izuku is now 37. No, wait, I'm going to make him 25. Yeah, 25. Then now we start off with some scrappers who are trying to rob him. We start at this old house with these three people. One is scrawny and looks like he needs to go to a dentist because his teeth are pointing out and all that. Oh, I forgot to mention. Izuku's corkless in this one. I completely forgot about that. And this is a one-shot, if I didn't make that clear. Yes, I'm bringing back the one-shots. And we also start with with this scrawny old man who's holding a rifle. Now, pretty much, we also hear from the female of the group, Look at all this scrap! No wonder. I wonder how many people you've enjoyed. Why not to get this stuff? They were loud. Besides, we do not want to wake him up. Who? The Roadhog? He's just a legend, mind. No, he is not a lad. He is, and this is when they just hear the door bang open. And pretty much they just see a man wearing a pig mask and is fat as hell. L, and this is when he just starts shooting his gun. And by the way, he still has like the Roadhog tattoo. I told you. I told you he's not he real. I mean, he's not fake. And they have to start covering and start are pretty much hiding because they don't want to get shot at. Now we're going to... What are you doing? I'm make... I'm going to put him down. Say hello to Docket. Get for me. And this is when a chain hook just grabs him. And then just pulls him in. And this one, he just grabs the guy by, by the throat. The gag is pretty much, the guy is just pretty much begging, getting at this rate, having him around his throat, having his hand around his throat. Wait, my, wait. I'll give you what, anything you want. My scrap, my guns, even these blue bears. Even little ducky. What do you say? This is when Izuku just takes the coins and just drops the guy. And this one they just run for the hills. Pathe Pathetic. They could barely survive against the real world. I doubt they will survive against and anything. This stuff they've been carrying. I doubt it will get them far of anything. Only thing it's gonna do is bring nothing. And not one bit of people will actually care if they die. They won't get far with nothing. They'll just die. But scavenging is the only thing these people know. And this one, Izuku just starts walking away. And this one, Izuku ends up in this town known as Junkyard. I mean, known as Junktown. Huh. Hello, Roadhog. I hope you don't expect to have, have any weapons. The Queen is allowing you to have any. And this is when Izuka just start, starts walking in. I hate this place. They can have it. The world deserves it. We fought in the war, and yet this is what we get in return. 
Nothing more than a wasteland. Nothing more than war. The humans can barely survive without relying on anyone else. They need this to survive. It's pathetic, really. And this when Izuka just starts walking in a way. But this one start Izuka starts walking towards the near where it's home. That's when he just starts going to this unknown locate this uh I'm gonna say this weird looking garage place? Huh? Oh. It's you, mate. Huh. You look okay. <sighs> what brings you here so soon? And this one he just holds a bag. Mostly Izuku doesn't talk much in this. Ah, the usual. Well, at least you can pay this time. And this is when this old man who wears a cigar has a white beard pretty much just start, starts going through some garbage. And in case you're wondering, it's just like scrap inside the garbage. They eat like trash can, beans, that type of stuff. The queen is pretty much getting the taxes. One of those to keep our mouth shut. Those who survived the war. And this is when he brings out these weird looking gadgets. Take this, a little bit of a tribute for us old times, and keep the coins, for old times' sake. <clears throat> and this one, he just takes the stuff, gives him the bag, and just gives him the coins. And when Izuka's thinking, I'm thirsty, at least there's one thing good about this place. And he starts walking into the boar, into the wolf's bone. This is when he walks up and just sees the bartender. Or, and he just sits down. And you just hear a loud creak coming from the chair. What are you having, mate? We got beer, whiskey. A lot. Along with your numb, your usual cactus juice. That's about all. Now, in the backstage, we see this guy with a robot leg, with this scrappy leg and this scrappy arm. Mm. <sighs> Sorry about that, I had to take a drink. <sighs> that cried up my ass. Now, when Izuku... Who is pretty much just sitting down. Alright. Let's see. Hmm. Look, mate. We can just... Let's talk this out. Easy good ears. There's no way of talking out of anything. Why would anyone want to go with you, Eid? Uh, he's going to turn and his tail, his lad tail left, and he they just pretty much just see the bartender giving him a whiskey. There you go. Wait, do you really want? And this one, he pretty much tries to brag about of the gold, but until he zook, until they see, he, he points out Izuku. <laughs> Roadhog, I thought you were a legend. Look, just keep your head to the ground. The queen doesn't want anything you hear. Just keep, and a little piggy doesn't have to get spliced. Uh, I hate when people threatening me. Izuka thinks in his head. But he also remembers Ida when he was a kid and how much he ruined his life. So, when the guy is about to shank Ida, aka Junkrat, you guys should know that, Izuku grabs the guy by the arm, dislocates it, grabs the dagger, and pretty much just slits his throat with the dagger. Here, you hear the blood spouting out of the guy. With Junkrat, he's pretty much just smiling. 
I like. By the way, his hair is on fire and he has a giant tire on his back, along with the zoo, along with other guys. Now the big buff Australia, and tries to attack Izuku, but Izuku puts the knife into the guy's throat and it just you hear a break. The, obviously the blade shattered. This is when the other guy tries to grab, tries to pretty much shoot Izuku, but all Izuku just hears from him is a click. Izuku turns around, grabs the gun, and just shoves up of the guy's eye socket. It blood spurting, and you just hear the guy I screaming. Blimey! Yeah, that was great, mate. It's like, hey, I'm a treasure hunter. Well, treasure hunting is not my thing, but I pretty much know how to get out of here. If you allow me to take you. Izuku's thinking, I could get out of this hellhole. This is when Izuku just sits up along with Junkrat, who's saying, Yoo-hoo! All right, let's go find some treasure. How about this? We split the profits 50-50. Eh. Eh. I know I could have gone low at about 24 or 30 or 15%, but knowing you... 50-50, oh, oh, especially how brutal you kill those mites. Izuku stays quiet. I'll take that quietness as a yes. You have changed a lot, Ida. That's good. You show hope, you show oh, kindness, and best of all, you lie to yourself. Oh, you lie. Lie to the people below around you. You lie. Lie to everyone. The world deserves us, and they should remember us. And that's when Isuku pretty much just starts going away. Now. With another, we start off with this, I'm gonna say, hey, this boy who looks like a girl. Yeah, I'm doing a thin boy. Wait. And this one of the girl is just being, being thrown. Oh, ow! Let's see if Overwatch can help you with this one. Welcome to Australia. W wait! Uh, this one, the car drives off, and the girl is just confused and alone. Australia? This is when the girl's pretty much, uh, well, femboy is the best way of saying it. It's just walking away, walking around. Oh. Now, oh. we pretty much get to Izuku and Junkrat, aka Ida. I'm telling you, mate, the big city, treasure to be robbed, then banks to be destroyed. Thing and getting their loot with all the things that we could use. And that's when Izuku pretty much just now having a, a bag filling it up, up with, well, stuff. Uh, mostly food and clothing and stuff for the road. Oh, well, bow. Oops. And that's when pretty much, once they come across, they just see this girl. Roll slash boy, femboy. Can you take me with you? Hmm? Who the fuck are you? My name is Sonning Wong. 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 Sister, I mean, brother to. Ah, give me a fucking minute. The other guy I gotta remember. Uh, give me a minute. Uh, okay. Overwatch. Uh, no, no. Sorry, but I do not know how to spell this girl's name. Hey, in fact, I don't even know where the fuck to find it. Uh, aha! Uh, Diva. Okay. Hey, that's her name? Diva? Diva. That, 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 that's it. it her name is Diva? Hold up. Okay, her name's not Diva. Who the fuck is this girl? Uh, 
nice to know who the fuck I'm seeing. I think her name's Diva. Uh, but I don't trust it. Okay, her name is Diva. Okay, just Diva. That's it. That's it? Okay. I expected something a little more... Uh, I'm not trying to sound racist, but I expected a little bit more... Japanese-ish. Like, I wasn't expecting D... E Von. D Von. Seriously, I wasn't expecting that. Eh. But, I'm looking at the... Why is this all looking like fucking... You know what, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut on this one. I don't want to get evicted. Then I'll get a flag. Jesus. This, you humans, mints, and your porn, I swear. What the fuck? Alright. At least I know I got it right. Okay, let's see. Izu. Now, when Izuku just sees the boy, and I'm gonna say her name is, uh. I mean, his name is. Jang Wong. I don't know what her la their name last name is, so I'm gonna say it's a Wong. I hope I'm not making any racist comments or any of that, but it's the only name I can think of. Now, with Izuku, who sits down, who is now just looking at her, and he pretty much she explains that she came in a long line of family. Sorry, Mike, but we don't. Okay. We'll help you. What? Well, 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 mate. Wait, I don't see payment. No pay, no gain. This one, Izuka just looks at him. Let me do this just this once. <sighs> fine, fine. We'll help the girl. Off to adventure. Two months to the nearest shore. Great. This should be fun. And this one, they just start walking to the shores. Now, they a couple of hours pass, and they pretty much stay for the night. <sighs> hey, um, thanks for taking me in. Thanks for helping me, I mean. <sighs> Don't thank me just yet, kiddo. We still have a long road ahead of us. I know, but still, thank you. <sighs> like I said, don't jink. Don't thank me, yet, kid. Like I said. Got it. Now. The next day happens, and Izu we see pretty much uh, Jang Wong, I think I named him, pretty much just hiding behind I'm the back Ack. and has a pistol already. But before the guy can even find him, and before he can even say found you, the drunk rat comes around and just swings a pipe at his head, and pretty much just starts bashing his skull all in and with the pipe. Off! Basically dead. Whew! That was fun! Why didn't you just blow him up? Uh, at the girl, the boy asked. Well, I ran out of bombs. Where's Rodog? And actually now they just hear a scream in agony and a shank. He probably took care of the lost guy by now. Oh. And this one Joker notices the clothing. Hey, Mike. How's your clothes hanging up? Yeah, it has been a Cup. It has been a couple of hours. Uh, these clothes are already torn up. Yeah, that ain't gonna last wrong. Oh, mate. Trust me. Eh. Well, anyway, I'm gonna go find some stuff. Uh, Roadhog's just around the corner. Just don't bend. Just, uh, be careful, alright, mate? Okay, junk rat. See ya! This one pretty much Roadhog pawns around, aka Zuku. <sighs> hey, Mr. Roadhog. <sighs> Why did you take me in? This one is 
Ugu having a reminder of the women and children that have died in this rebellion. You remind me of my younger self. Lost. You're questioning yourself. It's a dare giveaway. And sometimes it's best to have help. I see. Yeah. My sister wants me to join Overwatch, but I don't want to be like them. You know? I understand. We should set up camp. Okay. This one ain't just pretty much at night time. This one Izuku had managed to get some twigs. Eggs. Jang managed to get some rocks. And pretty much they start a fire. Here. Mostly thanks to the help of uh, his weapon. <sighs> this is when pretty much Wong, Wong just gives a worried look. I hope... I hope Eat is okay. I hope Junkrat's okay. Junkrat is like a cockroach. No matter how hard you try to kill him, he will always come back. And this one I hear something from the bushes and someone just yells, The rat is back! And I got you some clothes, mate! Oh, thanks. By the way, uh, mind if we give you a nickname? Sure. What do you want to give me? Well, my, mostly because the, well, the name, I understand. Don't worry, I already have a male name for it. Really? Wait, male? My sister thinks I'm a girl, oh, but. Oh, femboy, right? Yeah, wait, how did you? Well, for starters, your pants are so ripped up we could see it. This one, she real, the guy realized, and they just blood. He just blushes. And when were you gonna tell me? What do you think I got you some clothes, mate? Thank you. No problem, mate. Hey, and this one he just give it in the clothing. And, and this one he tries it on. Now he looks like your standard Marauder character from Borderlands, just without the mask. I like it. I look like I could shank someone. In Australia, that's a good thing, Ida says, while Izuku gives a thumbs up. Now, this one everyone just starts falling asleep, but mostly they all fall asleep on Izuku's big fat belly. When Izuku pretty much open, pretty much over the past hours, Izuku wakes up. up. This is when Izuku's about to get up until he sees Wong and, uh, well, Junkrat just laying on his stomach. This is when he decides to take another nap until he hears rushes on the bushes. This is when pretty much he sets the two down together and he just walks towards the bushes just to see people. This one he just starts walking toward, towards the junk rat and eat the kid, and he just starts shaking him. Hey, wake up! Huh? What? What's wrong, mate? We got a problem. What? Why? Look. And this one he just points at the people. I know those guys. Nice. Wong says. Those are the guys who dropped me out here. Do you know who they are? Yeah, the Talons organization. They're the ones who dropped me off of this place, leaving me for dead. What can you tell us about Talon? There's this bad organization. They pretty much do the exact opposite. They are led by a man, led by an organization. They're mostly mercenaries. I see. Is there a way to take him out? Yeah. Either by blowing them up 
shooting them. They die like a normal person, but and this one here. Oh, I shit it! It's and there goes Junkrat. Why? Why? Why are I? Why? 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 Uh, let's go help him. And pretty much this is when he just starts charging in with with Wall. By the way. This is when he could grasp one guy by the head and pretty much just snap rips him in half. You didn't tell us your male name. Oh. Oh. oh it's uh oh, I can never remember it. There's uh Gimme a minute, it'll come back. Wait, I remember. Monoma. My name's Monoma. Well, Monoma. It's good to meet you. And this one he just crush it. So there's another guy's head. And then the blood spatters everywhere. How are you so strong able to shoot to pretty much do that? And it's when he either you know, just shoots there's a talent member in the head. In Australia, you gotta be tough. And this one pretty much I say to see Ida riding a tire and pretty much throwing it to the enemy, and then this like a guy just blows up. <laughs> Serve you right, mate, to mess with the Junkers. Is he always like this? Every day. And I only met him like a day ago or two. Oh. Huh. You think we're going to run into any more Talon members? Probably. Hey, though why would they be here? The real question is, what are they seeking, or who are they seeking? Here. That is a good question. As for what they are seeking, it could be anything, or anyone. We should go. Agreed. And this one, Izuka just starts walking. Along with... If you know... Well, Junkrat and Monoma. This one, pretty much after a couple of months, once they start walking, actually now, a couple of weeks has passed, and they managed to come to this abandoned town. How are we doing on food, mate? A little low today. Right. Just what we need. Here. Well, grab a can and look for corpses. Why look for corpses? There's maggots and all that. It's pretty much a common thing to eat around these parts. So are we sure we're following the map right? Yep. We're near the shore. Well, not even close. We still have a lot more months to go. Oh. Huh. Guess we better start going. Agreed. Now, let's go look for corpses. And this one, they just start looking for corpses. But this one, pretty much, they hear Motobot go, Ooh. I won. Yeah, it's. You'll get used to it, the smell. Oh, that smell. I'm used to killing people, and yet the corpses bother me. Like I said, you get used to it. Mm. 
Now this one eat this one uh war dog road dog man is to pretty much get it's the stuff. <sighs> Got it. And this one pretty much just fills up the bag with maggots. It looks like we're having maggots. Do you do not? Are you okay with that? Beats eating anything? Beats eating sand. It's not at all positive kid. Are you sure he was... I'm starting to think this kid was born in the wasteland. Doubt it. He's from China or Tokyo. Eh, you got that, boy. Alright. Alright, let's head out. Out before riders come. Oh, right. Now, a month has passed. Well, a month and a half. And we start off with Izuku pretty much landing and pretty much at the stop sign and where they're camping at night. Hey, um, Roadhog. This one, they just, Izuku just has Ida sleeping on his shoulder. Huh. Yeah. So, I gotta ask. <clears throat> I never did find a way to repay you. That's fine, kid. You don't have to repay me. You sure? I'm sure. Okay. This one, Nita, just sleeps on him. <sighs> really does remind me of him. <sighs> Looks like I'm following your Hasa, your Fly's dad. I'm helping someone. I'm helping these two kids. This one, actually, pause break for a little bit. Okay, I'm back. Now, pretty much this is when day rises. And another month has passed. When they finally get to the docks. There it is. The boat. A lot of guards this time. Okay. This one is a good just points left. Maybe we could sneak. And this one is here. There are explosions and a lot of stuff happening. Why? Shot race. And he's gone. What? How is he alive again? I don't know. Oh. And I really, really want to kill him right now. Truth be told, you're not the only one right about now. Because even I want to kill him right now. And I'm used to his bullshit. <laughs> Let's go. And this is when I just start going. And this one pretty much they just hear pew pew. Ooh, bam bam all that. If we ever get out of this alive, I'm going to kill him. Yeah, save room. Boom. I want to kill him, too. And this one, they continue to start fighting. When pretty much they start shooting, this is when Monoma, sorry about the pauses, pretty much is just slamming her 
signing into next. Hello, little mouse. Yeah. And look at you. This one pretty much they start trying to rob the boat. Look, they're even leaving you behind. And this is when Roadhog grabs Monoma and just brings him in. Got him. <clears throat> Let's go. <sighs> Tree, just Christ, Monoma. I thought you were behind me. I thought you left me. We never do that, mate. Junk of rule number one. And this is when all of them gets into a hug. Know who your friends are. When they start pretty much getting into, I'm going to say, Japan. Woohoo! Waste. Good boy, Lay Slat. Hello, robbery back. Oh, boy. This is where we part ways, right? You know what? Fuck my family. You're my new family now. Really? Really? Yeah. Now, what's this about a bank? Okay. Now, over the past ye months, well, actually, no, over the past years, Izuku is now 37. Ida is now in his 20s, and Monoma is now 18. He, and they pretty much started the biggest crime spree in histories of crime spree. So they've been taking out a lot of bad, good guys. I even taking out, out other villains. It's who ever get in their way. Now, we get to the news. The three... E villains known as Roadhog, Junk Rat, and Scrap, and and Kill Rat had pretty much been strobbing and killing all in their path, and, and kidnapping. And over the past years, if anyone has ever seen these wanted criminals, please report or to the authorities immediate. And this one, the TV turns off, and we just see Monoma, aka Blood Rat, pretty much just sitting on the couch. You know, we've been doing pretty well. Agreed. I thought we'd pretty much end up pretty dead. Uh. And this one junk punk rat comes in. All right, I got a plan. Imagine three kilograms load of weaponry powder and radiation bombs it's gonna be a payday for us all and also the best part twelve thousand dollars go into the UA economy bank it's gonna be well guarded and there's gonna be a lot of competition and imagine the bombs and the stuff we could get I <sighs> this should be an interesting fight Let's do this. When they get right there, after a couple of hours, we see the door. And next thing you know, oh, we just hear Izuku barging the door open. And pretty much. Us just run on into the room and you just hear shirt 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 clear the table oh where's the fucking dart and this when Monoma's foot is pretty much clearing the day well and he just pulls out the dart found it heroes oh this is bad don't oh, worry mate I'm fine and this when his nose starts bleeding damn it we have to call a hospital. We can't. We're wanted criminals. They may be arrested by the heroes. I have an idea. Yeah. We need to get to the bike, though. Then this is when they just get to the bike and they start driving. Where are we going? To Overwatch. I thought 
Or, look, they can take us in. They don't care about the age. Besides, they're gonna send me to the villain rehab, and they're gonna sentence you to death yeah, due to your age. Because they don't care about the quirks. They don't care about any of that. They just care about how good you are in a fight. Hey, and they'll see, and the heroes will see your age as a weakness. Yes, and they'll see Junkrat is too unstable to join unless he has been broken by the Hero Society. And you? My family would try to kill me due to me being a crime lord and all that. My family has always had a reputation of being heroes. So, yeah, you can see how that's gonna go. <sighs> all right. Like, after an hour of driving and avoiding the cops, they managed to get to Overwatch. Overwatch, it is... Look, I don't have time for your bullshit right now. We got a friend hurt. We got... I'm pretty much... That's a wounded. We're wanted criminals, and we're being chased by both Talon, the UA Society, and the cops. We need help. <sighs> this is when an old, someone opens the door. All right, get in. However... For those who are not ill or dying, have to wait in the cell. <sighs> then it's when they're taken to their swell. What if he... He... Imonima, please. I don't know. After a five hours, this is when a certain cowboy walks in. Is he okay? Oh, he's fine, partner. Very, very fine. That's what's bad. Both... Ovizuku and Monoma look at a confusion until they walk in, and and Monoma just screams, "Leap, really, Ida? I'm not going to jail, sir. You need this in your arm so I can give you the antidote. I brought death before Dazana. Nah. <laughs> well, I actually, I never went to jail, but uh, oh, Woodhog, oh, Rat, Blood Rat, help me kill these fuckers. We are not killing them." They helped us. Oh. That's, uh... That actually makes sense. And so I guess... When pretty much after an hour and we just see them, now in the, well, office with Soldier 76. You are all wanted criminals in every state in the world. And you are now also wanted by the Hero Society... Wanted dead or alive. We helped your friend. So, you gotta do something for us in return. You're joining Overwatch. <laughs> what? Huh? You heard me. But we do the exact opposite of helping. Hey. Hmm, this woman, Ida, says, What if we refuse? We give you to the heroes. Those you'll be sent to a mental asylum, them known as Outlast. Monoma's family will be having to put her to death sentence, and Roadhog will be killed due to his age. Hmm, hard bargain. An, an interesting. We have done nothing but murder, steal, rob, kidnap, and God knows what else. Is it really possible to? To change hardwiring. This one's shoulder 76 to shrugs. I have no idea, mate. But, care to find out? Mm. Eh. <clears throat> okay. We'll join. Splendid. You'll be shown to your rooms. Rooms? Well, yeah. And this one is just shown to their rooms. <sighs> yeah, it's so clean. Don't you dare. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> Wait, I won't. Won't fuck up your room. Our room. I'm taking a guess we're sharing. Yep. All right. All right. Pause break. Okay, I'm back. Now, when Izuku starts sitting down and pretty much getting comfy on his bed, <sighs> I'm taking a nap. 
Truth be told, so am I. Yeah, I might. I never want to start sleeping on him. Quack. You two have beds. Yeah, but they're not comfy as you, big guy. Yeah, one giant pillow. What could anyone ask for? And this one he's gonna just lay down to sleep and sleep. But around six a.m. this one here, and everyone just starts waking up. You just see one of them looks like who looks like he just woke up from the dead, and he looks like the clock. It's six in the morning. Who the fuck wakes up at this hour? Wake up, you guys. Training session. Training? It's six in the morning? At least let me have my goddamn coffee. Here's your coffee. And I don't know if you use cream on yours or... <laughs> Just give me that. And he says, like your mom just gulp. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, can I have some Bubba coffee, please? <laughs> What about you, Junkrat? Whiskey, please. He's, aren't you a little... You know what? No. How about some coffee? Or some milk, at least. What's milk? Oh, boy. Okay, first, we're going to teach you about some food. Would you do like some breakfast? No, mate. We had some maggots last week. Ow. This one's sold in your 76 which drags all three of them. Food. Now. Ow. Oh, and big guy, uh, you know what, never mind. It's probably wise to keep you chubby. Huh? Huh? Yeah, you really don't want to make me lose weight. Why? Why? Because we like our big fluffy pillow. Yeah, I mean, it'd be weird, rude to get rid of our pillow without us asking permission, at least. <sighs> okay. There is no way in hell his fat ass is comfortable. I will sit on you. Okay, okay, sheesh, I get it. Man, our big guy is horrifying. And once again, pause break. Okay, I am back. Now, I'm pretty much this is when they just start by sitting down. Ow. And this is when pretty much Ida sees pancakes. What the fuck are these? That's a pancake. You never had one? What the fuck's a pancake? I remember them. They're pretty much just bread, and it's been turned around. I don't buy canned pancake batter. What's batter? Uh, liquefied bread is the best way of saying it. That has not been turned into bread yet. So think, uh, like an egg. Just plain white. Give him a short, and this one he just grabs it by the hand. Uh, use your utensils. What's that? Uh, madam, he has been in the wasteland. Even I don't remember a utensil. This one they just see Monoma just eating it with his hands. What? Right. Right. Seriously? Off! Oh, Off, oh, thank you. If you have been eating nothing more than maggot, I get bean cans and and broth, you would check, you would not be hesitant to eat pancakes. So shut up and let me eat. Yeah. Got a point there. Yeah, my, got a point. Yeah. Oh, and this one, they just eat their food. Yeah. Mm, that was delicious. Mm. And where are you going, big guy? Uh, washing my hands? Well, good, because you're all taking a bath. <laughs> a bath! No! Death before dishonor! Come on, on junk rat. No! I like my fist! <laughs> Come on! Oh, don't be such a baby. I'm coming too. Wait, you're bathing with us? Yeah. Does that mean you're gonna take off your mask? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Ow. Ow. The fuck? And 
minus one frame, I say to start walking in. This one they just see Zuku walking in, and his he just walks in with a big ass towel around him, and, and this one he just sits down and just starts taking his bath. So that's what he looks like. And this one they just see Zuku with this big beard, with this beard. It's not like a fully grown beard, but it's enough that it's covering the face, face with facial hair. And they just see Monoma and Ida sitting right and right on him, and they're both embarrassed. What? Mm, nothing, mate. I. It's just that. Oh well. It's just a dick. They look at him like, really? Oh, you two are. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> okay. You're okay with that, mate? I. Yeah. Uh, in Australia, you can't be picky what you fuck. Does that include a corpse? No! That does not include a corpse. What I mean is... This, you know those strip clubs we used to go to back at, uh, you know. Oh. Oh, right. <clears throat> that actually makes sense. Uh-huh. Now, but Ugh. Excuse me. Now, let up, let's just enjoy this moment. Right. And once again, pause break. Okay, I am back. Now that's when this is when Izuka just starts sleeping. I mean, because he fell asleep on the top. I mean, we all know. We all took baths. You know it feels nice. Now, when Izuka Midoriya started walking out with clothes on, mostly the same pants, pants, but this one he stopped by Soldier 76. What? We're going to wash those clothes. How? Mm -hmm. I bought yoga pants. There is no way in hell that's going to fit me. And that's when he just puts them on. Unbelievable. They fit me. It's yoga pants. It's, especially if it's that stretchy yoga pants. Trust me. Those bad boys can fit on anything. And what about Monoma and Junkrat? Well, what the fuck is this? Why am I wearing some type of pink horsehead bullshit? If I remember correctly, that's those are my little pony pajamas. Why am I wearing them? Give me back my pants and my undies. At least let us wash them. No, you only took care of my stink. You're not taking my pants stink. And oh, for the love of, it's just pants. Says you, you are something comfy. This thing feels like a thing and cut shit. Will you just calm down? Besides, we're probably gonna give you a mission that involves us getting messy. So don't be such a complaining. He's got a point, junk rat. Eh, fine. When And you What? There we go. What are you going to do? All right. So do we have a mission? Well, we were going to train, but knowing we, how, we saw how you fight, we don't need that. But mostly what we need you guys to do is pretty much just a sit down. Oh, and just, well, relax. Let your guard down a little bit. Yeah. Telling an Australian to let their guard down is the last thing you say. Okay, how about this? Getting to know the team. Is that the best way of saying it? 
Sure. Let me introduce you to the team. This one, he pretty much just goes to the team. Hmm. This is it. Yeah. Would you expect it a little bit better, or did you expect it what? I'm just going to say it. I expected something else. Huh. You ain't the first to say that. Now, this is pretty much, you already know the team, but if you truly wish to do your first missions first, then we won't stop you. Okay, then. What's our first mission? And that? That is actually quite simple, actually. Our first mission is to help UA Academy. What? 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 What, Mike? Look, I get it. They want you dead. But, here's the good news. They can't touch you because they now just found out that you're in UA, that you're in Overwatch. So they can't do anything, period. Only thing they can do is literally just give you like a nasty glare. There, that's about it. So you don't really have to worry that much. Divine worry. You know what I'm talking about. Besides, there's a particular reason why we're helping. The talents, they're literally trying to, you know, kill us. <sighs> okay, say that we help them take out the talents. What makes you think I ain't gonna stop them from trying to take us? Well, for starters, they can't really do anything. That's what we're doing. How long will it take for us to even take this down? This talon? It shouldn't be that bad. And besides, like I said, Overwatch just took it in the most dangerous and notorious people. So you guys joining is pretty much nothing more than your average Tuesday. And it's just proving that Overwatch will even show that even villains can be heroes. So I don't think they'll really mind that much. <sighs> Fine. Let us go then. All right. Time to go to UA. Hey. <sighs> and this one, they just start walking. Now, when they get there, <laughs> they just see these people. This must be the people. Yep. When they just walk into UA, they just see who they're walking in with. Mm. And this one, pretty much Izuku just sees Nezu, the heroes, etc., etc. Hello, Roadhog. Okay. 
What do you want, Nezu? Well, off? Well, we wouldn't have contacted you if we didn't think we didn't need help. <sighs> well, here's the thing. We found out that the Talon have been secretly working with the, P the organization known as the League of Villains. They've been mostly causing chaos and destruction on their wake. Thanks to your friends, he looks at Roadhog and his companions, they have not been doing any better. Sorry. <laughs> Anywho, we are turning the other cheek mostly because you have no choice and also because as they're now members of Overwatch. Yes, that. <laughs> Stupid rat. Don't tempt me. Oh, I can tempt pretty well. Especially since you shot a poison dart at a junk rat. Hold on, people. This is when Soldier 76 says, Isn't that illegal to shoot poison darts at people? And you forget, Nezu, I know the cell number to your boss. <laughs> Besides, we wouldn't want the Omni monks to get involved, now do we? <sighs> what would they say? Show all mercy and tranquility? Right now, you're doing the exact opposite. <laughs> do we have to help them? Unfortunately, yes. The good news is you don't have to worry about them. I'm pretty much, well, you know, well, getting involved with anything else. So they'll try their best to pretty much convince you to join UA, but due to your age, I doubt it. Yeah, damn right. And this one here, brother? Where have you been? Don't touch me. Come on, brother, don't be like this. Yes. Oi, he said don't touch him, don't touch him. And who the fuck are you? Who? His friend. I mean, his friend might. He is my brother. I can touch him as much as I want to. Before the dark, his sister can even do anything, this is when pretty much a soldier says, I got you in my sights. <sighs> and then you see a soldier pointing a gun at him. Go near him. I fucking dare you. Ooh, bitch. I know what the Eden family does to disgracers. Don't tempt me. <sighs> or I'll let Roadhog kill you. <laughs> what can that fatso do? And this one hot this one a hook is just piercing it's in the girl's flesh. And she screams in pain. I can do a lot of things. Don't tempt me. Y yes, sir. And this one, the girl just runs away with the hook. Still on her. But this one, Izuku, on purposely just yanks it. And he leaves a jumongous scar on his on her shoulder. <laughs> Is that going in our report? I'll let that one slide because the Eda family don't really have a great reputation with Overwatch. Especially the incident. <sighs> okay. Let's do this. So all the only thing we have to do is survive this little bullshit. Yep. Hmm. What's our first mission? Well, we discovered that there's a UA trader among their groups, so take a guess. Find him? Yep. What does he look like, or her? This one they show a picture. 
<clears throat> and hopefully the heroes can't do anything because due to them be literally be being forced to stand down, he looks at Nezu. <clears throat> they can't do anything. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh. oh, by the way, you'll be going with McGreedy. Who? Me, partner. While Junkrat and Monoma come with me, mostly because you need your weapons. And, and due to literally Roadhog being big as he is, we don't have to worry about him. <sighs> don't worry, you can trust McCready. He's a flirter, but he's mostly into Genji's brother. <sighs> Got it. All right, big guy, let's go, partner. So who are we looking for? We are looking for the hero known as Hawk. Hawk. He's the UA traitor. He confessed to Overwatch himself. Now why would he betray UA? Well, besides it being a crappy place full of assholes who want to kill everyone they see, doesn't matter how villainous Mr. Quark is, or doesn't matter how nice they are, they'll still try to either A, force them to join the UA, as if they're nothing more than the military cult. Good thing I joined Overwatch then. Yeah, good thing, mate. Because otherwise that would have just ended pretty badly with you. Good to know. Alright, pause break again. Okie dokie, I'm back. Now, this is when they managed to find Hawk. In fact, he went to them. Hey. Oh, you must be Hawk. And you must be that handsome roadhog that everyone's been talking about. <laughs> what? Oh, wait. Uh, what? Yeah, I mean, look at him. Roadhog's literally better looking than you. Hey? <laughs> Are you high or something? No, but it's high noon somewhere else. <coughs> he counterattacked me. <laughs> anyway, we should go before the heroes decide to attack. Agreed. And this one they just start walking off. Oh man, I popped my leg. When Izuku Midoriya pretty much walked out with you out of UA with Hawk and McCready, McCready is giving a look like I've been offended. <laughs> Why is McCready looking like that? Oh, he explained what Hawk said. <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of funny. So, who else is we meeting? Hello. What the? And this when he just sees this samurai guy. Hi. Who's the little guy? My name is Genji. Genji? He, can I just call you Sword? <laughs> of course. I, I'm okay with you calling me Sword. But why Sword? He points at the sword. Oh. That... Actually, it does make sense. Hmm. Anyway, we should go. Yeah, let's. And this one, they just start walking. Hmm. Shouldn't be gone that long. Hmm. All right. We should be there. We should be back home in about 25 minutes is the best way of saying it. <sighs> All righty. By the way, I heard what happened with Manetta and his sister. That must have ended as I expected. Yeah, it did. And with people nearly dying. Huh. 
Well, I heard what you did to her. If she can't accept that, I don't know who can. <sighs> now. Oh. We should be able to get there in around 25 five minutes back home. <sighs> Okie dokie. And he just starts walking. <sighs> All right. When they get to the back to the Overwatch base, they pretty much just see Emonima pretty much just sitting down. <sighs> you good? Huh? Oh, y yeah, just, uh... Really hoping I didn't bump into my brother, my sister again, you know? Oh, what am I saying? You don't. Oh, too well, because why else would you help me? <sighs> where's, um... Where's Junkrat? Oh, he's talking with, uh, Mercy. He doing a healing scan, you know? Why do I got a feeling it's not willingly? Eh, uh, not really. He had to be dragged by a giant gorilla man. Great. Also, we have another mission to do after this. And that is? He didn't really say. But that should be it. Then this one here. Hey, Roadhog, you want to go on a date? Ow! What? Then he just looks at Hawk. We just met. So, doesn't mean we can't know each other. I mean, why not hot stuff? Ow. What the fuck is this guy? Wait, how old are you? Oh, I'm around 15 and stuff. <sighs> you do realize I'm like in my 40s or 30s, right? So, age is just a number. <sighs> what the fuck is wrong with people in Japan? This is not right. Hey, age does not matter, like I said. And besides, to meet such a big, strong guy like yourself, it's quite rare. Eh? Ow. Even Junkrat had to pop out his head like, Eh? What are you talking about, mate? What are you doing to our pit out? I'm okay sharing. Ow. We see him as a father figure. In that case, I'm, you're okay with me calling him daddy? Help! Oh, get this crazy bird off of me! Oh, don't be like that, sweet cheeks. Get off! Okay, how about this? If I take you out for a beer, will you stop? Oh, mmm, sure. Absolutely not. You are not giving the child beer. And tell him to stop flirting with me! Actually, he kind of has the rights to flirt with you because age is just not is just a number around Japan. He can marry anyone he wants. He winks cutely. Ow. That cutesy little shit ain't gonna work on me. Believe me, I talked to Motoma. Must cute ass. Yeah, he's right. Hello there, come on, oh, lad. And this one, he just turns around to see this buff woman. Hi. Hi. Ow. Huh. I thought you said you were gay. I'm bisexual. We'll see you around, comrade. Y yeah. Holy crap, I wanted to crush me. <clears throat> I think you got someone else's eye. What do you mean by that? He points. Huh? And you just see this hip pop dude. I don't remember the black guy's name. Uh, that, uh... Hip, the guy who sings a lot. I don't remember his name. Like, seriously, I don't remember. Are we done here? We just need to give you a shot. Really? Really, don't make me get your dad. 
fine. Fine. <sighs> All right, this is gonna be a long year. Isn't it? Yep. And to think I was going to think of doing a one-shot on this one. So, unfortunately, I must end it off here. Why? Well, mostly because my throat hurts from doing in Roadhog's voice. And also, oh, it is, I don't know what time it is. My TV is not even on. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it off here. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. If you guys want me to continue this series, let me know in the comment section below. But this is probably going to be a two-shot what-if, so don't get your hopes up on more than what. Like, damn it. like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. This has been Dunkle Dylan here, God of Chaos. See ya!